So there was one boy who was around 20 years old who had experience, who had tried all the other formats. He went to, he was in Australia. So he went to different philosophies that were available at that time. Different Babaji's he tried, even Indian philosophies, yoga, astanga, some meditation, everything he tried. But nothing could give him the actual happiness. So one day he went to church, cathedral church. He was kneeling on his knees and he was praying to the Lord there. Oh Lord, I have done all my endeavors to learn about you, to learn about myself. But I could not come to any proper conclusion. I met many gurus who can teach me material, matter. But I could not find in one proper guru who can teach me about the Supreme Lord and about my relationship and how I should serve him. This is the sincere prayer what he was offering. So he was offering, offering, he was praying to the Lord, please give me some direction, please provide me some light where I can understand these details. So when he was engaged in this sincere prayer, suddenly he heard some small sound. So when he turned his head the side, Krishna conscious devotee coming into the church. Because he wanted to see who, who the people are there and uh, he, he was also fascinated by the uh, paintings and artifacts that were kept in the church, he came there. So while going, because he was carrying many books, one small book fell down in front of this boy. So after finishing his prayer, he saw it, that book and that book is Back to Godhead Maxim. Which Prabhupada is saying about, want to know Supreme Lord, please come to us. So with that title, he went to the temple and that day is Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance day, Gaurapurna. So as soon as he went to the temple, there were uh, a drama being played. Suddenly there was a shortage of a person to play the character of Haridas Thakura. And this boy was asked to come and play the character of Haridas Thakura. And uh, he started playing and he got it, uh, immersed into the thing. That, that day itself he joined the temple. In the next 10 days, Prabhupada came. And uh, when he went to airport, when he saw Prabhupada, then he understood how the prayer, what he had offered in the church has become. So he is saying, he doesn't know who is Krishna, he doesn't know who is Guru. But that sincere prayer, what he had offered at his heart, had given him an opportunity to associate. And he is still continuing the service for the last 40 years. 1972, he met Prabhupada and still they are all all glories to the Krishna Bhujanu Param Gyan Param